Today's Bible verse comes from Psalms 90. You were God before the mountains were born, before the earth and the world were made. You have always been and always will be God. Good morning. Thanks for coming back and joining me for week two of our Connect series on the earth and caring for it. This week we're going to continue to talk about the wondrous and beautiful earth that God has given us to take care of. Now, I bet you kind of take the earth for granted, don't we? Because we have nothing else to compare it to. And we've always been here, haven't we? Unless some of you have lived on another planet. Have you? I don't think so. Someday that may happen, but it hasn't happened yet. Do any of you have a dog? Now a dog gets really excited, doesn't it, when it wants to go outside. You hold its leash and it jumps all around and can't wait to get outside. A dog never takes the earth for granted because he can't wait to get out there and sniff it and it all seems new and wondrous each time you take it out. So are there some things in our lives that we take for granted? What might they be that we know will always be there so we don't realize how wonderful it is that we have them? Can you think of some? Maybe your family? How about your friends? Or the food that we have to eat? Or the clothes we have to wear? That's right, or maybe somewhere to live. Those are all things that we, most of us, take for granted because we've always had those. Well, this morning, we're gonna do a little quiz that will help us hopefully understand the earth a little bit more and not take it for granted. And also maybe learn how awesome and exciting this earth is that God has created for us. Now, the way it's gonna be working is all you need is a thumb. If it's a true question I ask, you're gonna put thumbs up. If it's a false question, you're gonna put thumbs down. Let's practice. Thumbs up, correct. Thumbs down, incorrect. Now you're gonna keep your own score at home. It's 10 questions and we'll see how much each of you know. Now, if you're not sure what the answer is for the question, just go ahead and guess with a thumbs up or a thumbs down because you got a 50-50 chance, don't you, to guess the right answer. Okay. So let's get started with our questions. Do you have your thumbs ready? Okay, the first question. The earth moves around the sun at approximately 67,000 miles per hour. What do you think? Thumbs up, that's correct. Number two. The earth is 193 million miles from the sun. True or false? False, it's actually only 93 million miles away from the sun. The highest point on earth is Mount Kilimanjaro. What do you think? Mount Everest is the, big, is the tallest, so that would be thumbs down. Question number four. The world's longest mountain range is underwater. True or false? It's true. How about the earth? 80% of the earth is covered in water. True or false? That is false because it's actually 70%. True or false? The Amazon rainforest is home to nearly one third of the Earth's land animals. What do you think? True. Lightning strikes somewhere on the Earth 5.2 million times per day. That's actually false. It strikes 88.6 million times a day. Doesn't that seem amazing? Question number eight. You would weigh more if you lived on the North Pole than if you lived at the equator. That's true. If you, it, because of the gravitational pull, if you lived on the equator, you would weigh 150. 
but if you weighed 150 at the equator, you'd weigh 150.8 at the North Pole. So you'd weigh a little bit more up there. How you doing so far? Question number nine. The first photo of the Earth was taken from space in 1968. Now, if you knew about the man walking on the Earth, correct, that is true. And how about question number 10? The Earth is round. Now, what do you think? That might be kind of a trick question. That's actually false. The Earth isn't totally round because at both of the poles, the Earth is flattened there. So it's not completely round. So how did you do? Total up your score. Did you find some things that you thought you would know that you didn't know? Did it help you understand the earth a little better? Did it make you see how amazing this earth is that God has created for us? And that you might take it a little less for granted. So last week we talked about how God created the light and the dark and the animals on the, on the land and in the sea and the birds in the sky and the sun and the moon and the stars. But God also said that it is our job to take care of the earth. And he says it in many different ways in many different parts of the Bible. But he does say it in Genesis 1 where we found the creation story last week. Well, do you think it's important that we take care of the earth? Well, I think it's important we take care of the earth because otherwise, what will happen? We won't have clean air or clean water or soil in order to grow crops. Our world will just look like this. A whole bunch of garbage if we don't take care of it. I don't know about you, but I don't want to live in a bunch of garbage. I have attached to the email in our lesson today two videos. One is about ways that we can care for the earth and take care of not only ourselves, but all the living creatures on the earth. And another is a video with more facts all about the earth. I hope you'll enjoy them. Now let's go over and do our science experiment. If you have your supplies and you wanna do the coffee fossils along with me, Better go get them out now. If not, let's just do it with what I have. So now we're gonna make some coffee ground fossils. You may have printed this out and had your supplies ready and you can do it along with me. And if not, you can just watch me as I do it and you can do it later when you have more time. Now you know what a fossil is, right? It's something that it was pressed under the earth that was sat there so long that it pressed into the dirt and into the rock and it left a print, an imprint there. So we're gonna make some pretend fossils this morning. We're gonna start with a cup full of coffee grounds that was already used, so from the coffee maker. So you can have your parents make some coffee and you will pour that in there, the wet used coffee. And then you'll take a cup of coffee that is cooled off. You'll take a half a cup of salt and a cup of flour. And you'll mix that all together so it looks like kind of like dough. And if it doesn't look exactly like dough when you first do that, you can just add a little more flour to make it look like dough. Now don't be fooled that this is something delicious to eat because this would not taste very good, would it? Even though it looks okay. See, it looks to me like I could use a little more flour in this one. So I'm gonna add a little bit more so that it turns out to look more like, kind of like cookie dough. Now when we make this into the shape, you'll need for it to dry overnight and it'll harden into a fossil, just like as if you found it in the ground. So you see how it looks here? Looks like dough, doesn't it? Like cookie dough. 
So you'll take some wax paper and you'll take a piece of dough out and you'll form it into your shape. And then you'll put it on the wax paper and you will take whatever object you have that you want to pretend that is your fossil. I made some earlier today and I made it like it was footprints of animals that I found. Right now I have little berries, so I'm gonna press those in there. And I will take them out then. And then they'll make a little design in there, like as if they were implanted in the ground. You might have a little plastic dinosaur at home or some animal with little feet on it that you could put in there or whatever you might have to make your fossil work. So and then I'll let that dry and by tomorrow it'll be hard and it'll be like my own fossils. If you want to make a whole bunch of them, you could maybe make a game of trying to find and hunt out your fossils in the house. I hope you enjoy it. So now we're gonna do a little song that I'm sure you're familiar with. It's called, He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. We'll have an accompaniment, but we're gonna do these motions. It's gonna be whole world in his hands, and it's gonna be nature, like a tree or a sunflower or whatever animal you wanna think of. And then it's going to be kids and grownups and everyone. So this video is attached to your email, but let's do it together now and you can do it later. So stand up and let's do it together. for the day. Let's see how much of it you remember. And I have a little globe ball here that I'm going to throw to you at home. And as I throw it, make sure you throw it back to me as we say each word of the Bible verse that comes from Psalms. Are you ready? Get ready to catch. Here we go. You were God before the mountains were born. Before the earth was made, you have always been and will always be God. Oh, good job. Nice catching. Okay, thanks for joining us today as we learned about caring for the earth and how God will always be there for us and wants us to care for everything around us. Join me next week as we talk about climate change.
Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for bringing all my new and old friends together today to learn about the earth and how we don't want to take it for granted and how we have an important job to do to take care of it for not only us, but for all living creatures. Amen.